Welcome to the Sandro channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Hi hey folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans and today I wanted to quickly talk about Spongebob Squarepants. So things have been going very, very well for Spongebob in recent years. Uh, I can't believe that after all this time, like, well, let's read this. So this is the cartoon news uh, Twitter page. Spongebob Squarepants was the number one highest most watched animated TV series on Paramount Plus consistently in 2022. So even after all these years, the original, no, this is the original Spongebob, not the Camp Coral, not the Patrick Star Show. The original Spongebob is still being watched that much all these years later. It's crazy. Um, I think they revealed that when the Patrick Star Show came out, it was one of the most, no, the number one most, I did a video on it at the time. The number one most watched show by kids at the time when that first season of the Patrick Star Show came out. Not only that, uh, SpongeBob Camp Coral was also huge when that released, but I do think that the original SpongeBob show and the Patrick Star show have been better received. Uh, they are 2D animated. In my opinion, I think 2D just looks much more cleaner. I really don't like the look of Camp Coral, and Camp Coral definitely feels like it's aimed at a much younger audience compared to uh, Patrick and, uh, of course, the original SpongeBob. Uh, and as, if you will go back and watch some of the earlier seasons of SpongeBob, it even feels like it was made for adults too, right? Like there was a lot of jokes. You go back and watch it now and you're like, Oh, <laughs> you know? you're like, Oh, I didn't notice that when I was a kid. Uh, whereas like, I, I feel like the Patrick star show probably isn't going to have as much adult humor as the original SpongeBob. And of course, uh, camp coral, um, that now that one is a weird one because they did have a weird episode. I covered it on my channel. One of you guys actually came up to me and you're like, Sandro, did you know that SpongeBob had a nudist colony episode? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, this is no joke. They had an episode of Camp Coral where they go to a nudist colony and it actually shows Mr. Krabs asshole, his ass crack. You see it. Uh, I, I guess you could say that's like toilet humor for children. And that's why that was in there. But an episode on a nudist colony. Now that is, is something else right there. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what is it? Like, who thought that that was a good idea for a topic for a kid's like episode? I don't know. But uh, it's it's shocking that there's episodes that are of SpongeBob that are banned, like the Panty Raid, right? That that feels like it's more for an adult. That one got like sort of banned, uh, and it's like weird. That episode is banned, but you have an episode aimed at kids that features a nudist colony. I I don't understand it. It's mind blowing. Nickelodeon has just lost their mind in recent years. <laughs> <laughs> clearly uh and uh yeah pretty wacky stuff here not only is this the number one uh most watched uh tv series for animated here uh we also got uh interviews all, all kinds of interviews with like tom uh tom kenny the voice of spongebob we had a different uh i think it was three streams ago two or three streams streams ago you guys messaged me you're like hey sandra look at this uh interview from the cr uh creators of spongebob or whoever's working on spongebob right now and you guys even told me that supposedly eventually they caught they, they might like nothing's in confirmed but apparently there might be a sort of not a sequel to the original SpongeBob movie, but they want to do like something after that, right? If you guys don't remember the original SpongeBob movie, it was the one with like uh, David Hasselhoff. It was the one with the Krusty Krab too. Mr. Krabs opens up a second Krusty Krab. SpongeBob uh, by the end of the movie becomes the manager of that second Krusty Krab, and we don't have anything else after that, right? We we don't know anything else that happens. Uh, like obviously now that there's two crusty crabs, who's going to be the fry cook for the first crusty crab. They're going to have to hire a new character. Uh, and secondly, who's going to be the employees of the crusty crab too? Uh, will, will SpongeBob hire Patrick? Uh, we don't know. I kind of want to see the sort of new recruits that would be hired, uh, new characters for bikini bottom. I'd love them to do a futuristic movie. Uh, maybe even a time skip. We do know in the future uh, SpongeBob has a grandson, like decades later, his name is SpongeBob Jr. I think it was. Um, <laughs> yeah, SpongeBob actually does. We don't know who SpongeBob's wife is, but he clearly probably marries a sponge. Although people said he, he reproduces asexually, but that kind of doesn't make sense though. 
even though he's a sea sponge and like they they were reproduced asexually, SpongeBob has parents and cousins, uh, and they look all different from each other. So I, I think like SpongeBob probably will have a wife at some point. Uh, who isn't Sandy Cheeks. So it'd be kind of cool to see like, um, you know, kind of how Mickey Mouse has like a Minnie Mouse or Mr. Pac-Man has a Mrs. Pac-Man. It'd be cool to have like a, a female, like a spongette, you know, <laughs> like with a little bow tie, a nice little red bow tie for good uh, measure. Uh, a, a female SpongeBob, like maybe she, her name is like um, Sponge. Uh, what's a, what's a female name that starts with the letter B? Like Bertha or <laughs> Bessie, Sponge Bessie. We got to have Sponge Bessie, you know. Uh, I'd like to see something like that. I really would. Uh, but yeah, they, they said that that's just sort of like an imaginary. They're not exactly trying to plan that or anything. Uh, nothing set in stone. They just talked about, yeah, like what is after the future of SpongeBob? Because the idea is that, that that movie is supposed to be like the end of the timeline, right? SpongeBob becomes manager. He's no longer working there as a fry cook. He is the manager of the Krusty Krab 2. Uh, so that's very, very interesting stuff there. I would really love to see a continuation. Other than that, you know, we in a recent interview, SpongeBob's voice actor Tom Kenny revealed that right now they're working on more SpongeBob projects than ever before. One of my subscribers always keeps saying that uh, Johnny Marrero, I think his name is, he always says that, yeah, Nickelodeon is just going to make a spin-off studio where they all exclusively deal with SpongeBob. They make games. He thinks that that's what's going to happen. He thinks they're going to announce SpongeBob Studios where they just do only SpongeBob projects at that studio. I think that could happen. I don't know if it'll happen in the next year, but the fact that there's so much SpongeBob shit in the pipeline is crazy. We know that there's a fourth SpongeBob movie. Right, the fourth SpongeBob movie. We know that Sandy Cheeks is getting a movie. We know that Plankton is getting a movie, and we don't know about that mysterious additional spinoff movie. But um, it could just be a movie for the Patrick Star show. It, you know, we don't know, or it could be a, a bonus sort of movie for Camp Coral, like a spinoff of Camp Coral or whatever. But I kind of feel like we already did this. The third SpongeBob movie, like Sponge on the Run, kind of had a, it. Kind of had some Camp Coral elements in there. So if I had to guess, I would lean more towards a Patrick Star movie. But at the same time, it could be. Uh, they did mention it could be about Pearl. It could be about Pearl's father um, or uh, Pearl's uh, original parents, like who were Pearl's whale parents? Obviously a crab can't produce a whale who, and Mr. Krabs often says mother of Pearl. Who is the mother of Pearl? Who is the father of Pearl? What happened to them? Why is she adopted? We don't have that story. So maybe they might give us that story after all these years. I don't know, but um, there was, a, oh, another thing uh, you guys mentioned to me, you think it'd be really cool if they did a movie on Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, even though the actors, the voice actors who did Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy both passed away uh, recently, not even that long ago. Um, they both passed away. They could be replaced. They, they, you know, it could happen. They could, you know, I guess Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy haven't been appearing. They kind of want to honor the characters and their roles. But I, I eventually, like, they're going to need to re replace them. I, I feel like they are going to need to replace them. Why not do it with a movie? Why not just do a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy movie when they were young? And then you can have whatever the same voice actors come back and do their voice lines for the original show, which is still airing to this day. The original SpongeBob still airing, still one of the most popular animated shows on TV which is just why I wanted to discuss this. I wanted to talk about it. Um, there's been a lot of interviews recently, a lot of like ideas. There's probably going to be more movies. Uh, I think, uh, what is it? Nickelodeon does a thing in February called like Nickelodeon Upfront, where they talk about all their big shows for the coming years. I would not be surprised if we get another spinoff, maybe a Squidward spinoff. Um, maybe like some weird spinoff with Mrs. Puff and what she did. Mrs. Puff is a criminal. We don't know her backstory. It'd be really cool to see some of her criminal backstory. I don't know, but, um, there's so many ideas they could go with, with SpongeBob. We can even get Apache the pirate spinoff. <laughs> uh, I, I want to see some crazy shit go down with SpongeBob. And, uh, obviously there's a video game coming out. I forget the name of it. But uh, there is a video game right now. It looks pretty good. I heard uh, good things about it. And um, 
I think it's like SpongeBob has just stood the test of time where many other cartoons have not. This show is still running after like 20 years. It is going to beat our Arthur. Arthur made it to 25 years. I did remember my video. I think it was earlier this year. Uh, I talked about how Arthur made it to 25 years. It got canceled. You know, I even watched the last episode where they, uh, they age Arthur up and, uh, they basically kind of allude that Arthur is an author and every single episode we saw was actually a book in his series, which is really interesting. Um, so yeah, we did see Arthur end after like 25 years. SpongeBob is one of the few long running shows. I don't want to see this show end. Uh, and I hope we get more and more awesome stuff from SpongeBob in the future. Will it ever beat the Simpsons? I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't think so. Sp Simpsons is just goddamn unstoppable. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Let me know all your thoughts down below. What other movie, what characters could get a spinoff? Larry the Lobster in a sports movie could be cool. Um, Mr. Cra I mean, Plankton's already getting a movie. Mr. Krabs will probably be in there. But Mr. Krabs getting a, a solo movie could be interesting. Uh, maybe we'll get learn more about his mother and father when he was... Yeah, uh, why not do like a sort of a backstory on Mr. Krabs when he was younger? Uh, and uh, there's not too many characters in SpongeBob that they could really stretch this out to. But I don't know. The, the Flying Dutchman when he was a human? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't freaking know. What you let me know. What are they gonna do? Fred, my leg you know the guy who's like, my leg. <laughs> are we just gonna get the backstory of goddamn Fred? Oh god. Uh, <laughs> flats. Yeah, what about flats? Maybe we'll get him. Bubble bass, right? Uh you let me know which a uh, Gary. Yeah, I guess we could get uh, what about Gary's parents? We never seen them, I don't think. Uh, so there's so many ways they could go with it here. Let me know all your wacky ass SpongeBob thoughts down below in the comment section. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And why not watch an ad for your boy Sandro? Thank you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.